This is the Nike Phantom GX. You've probably already seen it on the feet of the World Cup stars in Qatar, but today I'm taking a closer look at all the technology that makes this cleat different from the rest. Before we get into all that though, make sure you stay up to date on all the latest cleat news by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon to be alerted whenever we drop a new video. And with that said, let's start the review. So first, some context. Where does the Phantom GX come from? Nike Football introduced a new cleat concept back in 2013 which focused on agility and ball control in tight spaces. With its revolutionary Nike skin upper, players who remember the original Hypervenom will tell you that this soft yet tactile technology is still one of the best uppers Nike has produced to date. After some less than successful reincarnations of the Hypervenom franchise, Nike then transitioned to the Phantom Venom and then the Phantom Vision, which began to recapture some of that upper magic while at the same time introducing a semi-knitted construction around the ankle collar and across the lacing system to improve their performance fit and precision control. And you can see a lot of that same design language continued here with the covered lacing system and overall silhouette of the cleat. But while there are a number of smaller updates that elevate this cleat from the previous Phantom GT, the big technological update that's worth discussing is this incredibly tacky grip knit upper technology. As soon as you have these cleats in hand, you can feel this unique waxy texture all over the pink area of the upper of the cleat. And this is the grip knit section. So how has Nike achieved this? And more importantly, how does it perform? Instead of coating the entire fly knit upper in a layer of protective grippy synthetic, like on previous versions, here Nike say that they're treating each individual yarn that makes up the knit with a fingerprint-like texture, making the overall construction not only insanely tacky, but also much more supple and pliable. On top of that, this special knit construction is supposed to shed water in a way that allows you to enjoy the same level of grip that you would in both wet and dry conditions. In practice, the softness made possible by the grip knit gives you a really free, unrestricted fit that doesn't make your foot feel too squished while at the same time achieving a nice secure locked-in sensation. And I think the combination of tackiness and softness also makes a noticeable difference when controlling the ball. Overall, this new upper offers a much more refined barefoot touch on the ball while also giving you the confidence to try your most technical skills. Really top marks in terms of both touch and comfort. On top of this, Nike has also done something funky with the heel section now soft and with an offset seam. This new design is also based around improving comfort and reducing break-in time. And I have to say as someone who wears a lot of soccer cleats, it's a welcome update. The result is a more customized fit around the heel and because of the offset seam, you don't seem to get any of those annoying pressure points that you might normally expect from a new pair of cleats. Borrowing now from the older Phantom Vision model, you'll notice the ghost lacing system on the high cut version which is an elasticated flyknit lacing cover that provides a cleaner ball contact. It's a nice reintroduction that plays into the concept of a barefoot touch on the ball and also makes for an overall sleeker looking silhouette. Finally, the outsole also gets a freshen up with a triangular stud shape for more multi-directional traction when compared to the older GT. Great for quicker movements in tight spaces and thanks to the zigzagging skeleton that runs through the outsole, there's also a lot more give and flexibility through the sole of the boot. It makes for a more comfortable, relaxed, barefoot ride which I personally really like and think fits with the idea of the rest of the shoe. But if you're into a more locked in, firm underfoot sensation, then these might take a bit of getting used to. So where does this cleat fit in terms of playing style? It's very much in line with the previous GT model with most of the same players wearing this version. Think midfield playmakers like Grealish, Foden and Kamavinga. But as with all cleats, these are not limited to positions on the field and the fact that they're just generally more comfortable offer a better touch on the ball and weigh less than the GT means that they're going to appeal to most playing styles. So now you know all about the Nike Phantom GX. Make sure you leave me a comment with your thoughts on the cleats in the section below. Like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest cleat releases. I'm Sam and I'll see you guys next time.